Yeah. Jace Lejeune from Gridiron Football here with Coach Larry. Uh, as you can tell, winning coach here today for the 15U uh, Dolphins here today. So congratulations, Coach, by the way. Excellent job. Thank you. And, and, Coach, tell me how the Dolphins really got this done, not only because it's like seven-on-seven seven tournaments. They're really a marathon. It's not really a sprint. Uh, but just tell me how you all were able to get it done today. Uh, first, I want to say uh, thank you to Coach Marcus for having us. It was a great tournament, great weather. We really enjoyed ourselves, and it was great work. Um, but throughout the whole um, process, we just basically started off kind of slow, but it's just mainly just focusing at practicing and getting things right. You know, it's just, you know, it was great competition, you know. You know, we started off slow, but overall, uh, we did our job and finished, you know, so. Yeah. Good job. A little nervous. Yeah, absolutely, Coach. You're doing a good job. And uh, really for this team, I, I was at two tournaments and four, and, and four, two championships and four tournaments? Yeah, we did uh, DR7 uh, Houston. We went out there and then out here ran this passing academy. Uh, okay. So. Okay, so the team's really gelling, uh, kind of getting uh, the groove going. Uh, what What's really the key? Just uh, what's been the philosophy for you all in the 7-on-7 seven seven that's allowed you all to be successful? Well, the key is I tell them all the time. We just want to just play ball based off leverage. I do offense a lot. Okay. And on defense, it's communication. Mm -hmm. You know, we just want to be aggressive, but also play, also trust our technique and just overall just play ball, have fun, you know. Yeah. We're about the O line, the D line, so, you know, have fun, play ball. <laughs> right. And y'all y'all from New Orleans, correct, Coach? Yes. And so, you know, New Orleans has always been a great area producing athletes. Uh, I mean, one of the best in the entire country when it comes to producing football talent. But uh, what can you really say about these guys, this group that you've coached that makes them uh, special? This is a very, very special group. Um, for one, we, we had some of them for a while through tackle football, you know, so they understand the system. I had them last year and they did great. They're just very great athletic kids. And it's just about teaching them pretty much technique, teaching them coverages on defense, mm -hmm. offense, learning schemes. So it's just a matter of just them adapting to that. But their overall athleticism is just amazing. You know, they started off, you know, it's certain stuff they don't even know what they're doing and mm -hmm. it just looks great, you know. So it's just mostly just understanding that it's going to take a process because they are young, but I'm excited to see how their tackle football season go because it's going to translate and it's going to look it's going to look pretty cool. And who are some guys on this team that we should be uh, taking a look at in the near future? Uh, Might be too. I mean, yeah, honestly, I'm. They know me. I'm cool. Yeah, I'm, yeah, sure. I'm gonna go to. I think all of them are talented. Mm -hmm. You know, I can't really single one of them out because sure. they all special in their own unique way. But. Um, yeah, it's going to be pretty exciting just watching all of them play. They're, I think they're going to do great on their teams, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm just excited to see tackle football. You know, I love 707, yeah. but I'm more of a tackle guy, so oh, I'm yeah. excited to see how the season uh, progresses. If anything, I guess it still gives them in that football type of rhythm, right, and kind yeah. of like concepts and yeah, defense, yeah. that kind of chemistry, right? Yeah, they just got to come down and tackle now. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's the one thing you got to add to it, Coach. Yeah. Um, so was there any moment, uh, any specific moment that stood out to you uh, throughout this tournament that yeah. stood out to you? Actually, uh, the, fir the very first game we came out for when we were late. You know, okay. so I knew it was gonna just get out and play. Mm -hmm. And the team, the first team we played, we played them the first time um, yesterday. Okay. And we did pretty well. And today, they made some great adjustments. Mm -hmm. So we had to make adjustments. But at the time, we didn't warm up or anything. So you know, I was telling my guys like, "Hey, look, either we're gonna play ball or we're just gonna lose. You know, it's, it's a yeah. choice. Whatever you want to make. You want to continue playing or you want to just sit down and lose. And we were down. You know, so they actually came back. They settled down. Came back. Um, Got into a groove and we wound up pulling off the win. So we used that momentum into the rest of the games, and I think that's how they, we pulled it off. Uh, Coach, any uh, shout you want to give to some of the assistant coaches, the guys that's helped helped you with with these kids? Oh yeah, we got uh, Coach Shockey over there. He's usually the, in the interview guy, but he, he got away <laughs> from the camera this time. But Coach Shockey is our defensive coach. He's also the actual CEO of New Orleans Dolphins. He started this program. Uh, he's just he's great, man. He's great. He's really you know people get on him because he's very vocal. You know he's gonna get on you, but he loves the kids man there's so much love going into it um we got coach um patrick robinson uh he, former new orleans uh, yeah. saints yeah and uh for the super bowl champion yeah. um he does a great job with helping on defense also um we got a couple parents that come out here um my cousin coach marvin he always our camera guy making okay. sure that we got the views so if we got to make our corrections or anything uh it's just an overall 
you know, the city pier. We got other coaches out on 12U and 14, 15U and 14U that help us out. So it's all love, you know. I just appreciate the opportunities that these kids are being given. You know, so. Yes, sir, Coach. And a final question in order for getting in touch with you or any other coaches uh, uh, to be involved with the 7 program and the New Orleans Dolphins, uh, where should they contact y'all or follow y'all? Um, we have an Instagram account. It's uh, N-O Dolphins. Mm -hmm. um, I have uh, an email at uh, CoachLarry1800 at gmail.com um, or you can uh, pretty much hit up in sure. page because he runs that page and he sees everything so okay you know, anyone wants, wants to get in contact or get work we're willing to do it it's just work for all these kids you know I, I really enjoyed myself you know I really did you know everybody was talking about other tournaments and stuff but I appreciated this one this was real it was a beautiful day it was real a real great competition oh absolutely and congratulations definitely well deserved uh, and you, you all get to go you. back appreciate to New Orleans to 504 with some hardware so yeah, that's, yeah. that's all really good <laughs> yeah. really yes, sir. Appreciate it, congratulations to coach Larry and, and the Dolphins, the 15 new champions here at the second annual Ballot in the Boot Tournament. Check out uh, the New Orleans Dolphins and uh, the what they do the rest of the 7-on-7 spring schedule.